Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see about arrays. So, in shell scripting, so arrays are supported on the corn shell, the corn shell, and bash shell. Okay, so it is supported that one dimensional. one dimensional arrays so when the first element as the index zero example say any element you provided the first in the first position which is the index zero so it's continuous here now you can set and um, evaluate the value of the third element of the array prompt so so what you can do that example say that if you uh, say one two three something like this so in this we have four elements right so example say the prompt if you if you are asking to display in between the uh, brackets like the number two then it's going to display the the second position the one number okay so and say you can just call that using the prompt so that the prompt is that you can use dollar and within the curly process you just ask the prompt and say the number of uh, what whatever the number you would like to call that array will be displayed the element will be displayed over here something like this so r so the 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 whatever the element you provided it will the evaluation is done within the curly process and the prompt or the it is treated like a variable when you are say the brackets brackets so however it does not conflict as like the variable prompt that you can may also define in the same shell itself okay so example see over here say example say array i am going to write example some array values over here so she bang will just write the she bang over here fast and say i am going to write it array example so here if i specify any array name first so example say month equal to so i am going to provide these values within the bracket so 0 1 2 3 4 5 something like this okay so until the 5 then the array stores the number of days available in each line so until the 5 the 5 5th month okay uh, so now i am calling that array value over here using the echo echo dollar and open the curly brackets and provide that array name over here and the in the position which one you would like to call example say you want to call something like the second one example say over here you can call something like this or if you want to call all the things okay what are the values are there in the month you can simply call over here using the at the rate value so the at the rate are the star what it will do is that it's uh, using at the rate are the star as subscript you can display all elements of the array as well as the number of elements so you can also say something like this and echo let's say dollar and i'm going to call the month and within the brackets at the rate and say if you provide a hash sign over here which will count how many elements are there in that array so let's go ahead and execute this array statement so what it says to the second position i called so it says to then how many are there so how many variables so sorry how many elements are there that many elements will be displayed using the at the rate and providing the hash it will be counted that how many elements are there in that array so that is the uh, array you can uh, simply say below here so okay so we are going to create a template array 
and uh, go to scripts and edit the array script okay and here i am going to write uh, array example okay and the version may be here and i am going to assign some values over here okay so let's say fruits and i am going to write that fruit names within the this uh, parenthesis and uh, let's say apple okay and uh, orange okay banana okay maybe another any other fruit name hmm sapota okay so this is the names i just uh, took into the fruit as a element and for if the fruit names over here are uh, maybe i am assigning something like um, fruit not fruits okay in dollar and we have to open the um, curly braces and in the curly braces we have to call that um, array name here fruits and uh, how many uh, how many you are going to call over here so i'm going to call all the fruit names in within this um, uh, statement and i'm going to do echo and within this statement i'm going to call uh, dollar fruit okay Fruit name is something like it's going to print thus all the fruit names. Okay, it's going to be do that done, and maybe I'm going to call over here um, echo. I'm going to call uh, number of fruits. in bucket is so i'm going to call that the values over here fruits from the right yes fruits and i'm going to call at the rate and here as i shown in this previous now and ash will count the number of values or number of elements in the array okay maybe we can also call all the elements over here in the below example say echo all fruits okay dollar within the curly braces we have to call that um, array name over here within the um, bracket we have to write the at the right so that's about the script and i'm going to execute that array script over here and it's going to call fruit name is apple fruit name is orange fruit name is banana and fruit name is sapota so the number of fruits in bracket is for all fruits apple orange banana and sapota so like that arrays can be used you can call it you can cut the example say if you want to replace some um, fruit name with another fruit name uh, within over here so you can also do that so example say i am going to change this the fruit values over here uh, fruits so i am going to call the values within this is that maybe second value i am a third value i am going to replace over here it is that equal to um what is that um example say 
white apple all green apple something like this so what happens the third element from the fruits is going to be changed replaced with the the green apple let's examples three over here so what happens thus the value has been changed over here green apple so sorry just two values we have to write into the strict code because this is going to be a multiple values it is taking as so it's going to be changed like this so apple orange banana green apple like that it's going to change the all the elements or array you can use uh, arrays like this thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask